Hello, book friends. Happy first Tuesday in February. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Christy from Vintage Books Live, and this is this week's book report. Uh, we've been talking about our 2024 reading challenge and um, books that you might read to fill the different categories. Uh, one of the categories is books in translation, and so I brought a few samples from the used book stacks today to kind of give you some ideas of books that you could read that are in translation um, or even just categories of books that you might not have thought of. So there's the obvious things, um, you know, authors from different countries that have written um, books that have been translated. So we have Love in the Time of Cholera and we have Pablo Neruda's Poetry. Um, those obviously were written in another language to begin with and then translated into English. But another category that you might not have thought of is something like Chaucer, which technically was written in English, but there are versions like this one that have been translated into more modern English usage to make it a little bit easier to get through. So you can get the older versions at the store as well, but this one is a little bit easier to read through if you just want to read it for enjoyment. Um, another thing to think about is that the work in translation doesn't have to be a fiction book. It could be nonfiction. Um, so a lot of Thich Nhat Hanh's stuff, I think, was probably originally written in English because he did a lot of outreach work here in the United States, but this one was actually translated um, another category um, is books that we think of as kids' books. Um, an obvious one would be The Diary of Anne Frank. Um, I couldn't find any picture books uh, immediately this afternoon when I was looking, but I, there's a lot of picture books out there that have been translated from other languages. There's some beautiful books that have come over from Japan, some from different countries in Europe. So something to think about when you're thinking about, oh my gosh, a work in translation, you know, it has to be big or heavy or hard to read or whatever. And, and it doesn't, it could be uh, some, something as simple as a picture book. So if you're looking for ideas to um, fill that category for the reading challenge, that's some ideas. Um, I also wanted to share a few new books that came in today for our new book Tuesday. Um, one that came in uh, is, again, I'm sorry, I'm the, all these are gonna be backwards, but I think you can probably see it. Um, this book came in today. It's a very small little volume called How to Look at Birds. And it is designed for the extremely brand new birder. Um, it could be an older, you know, middle grader or high schooler. It could be an adult. Um, and it's just a really great book. Um, just telling you how to learn how to uh, be birding. So how to identify birds. And it does. Uh, it, it starts with very common sense, logical things like, you know, what's the bird's shape? You know, what does their beak look like? What are their colors? So that you're not drowning in like the sciency definitions of one bird species versus another. It's very, very sort of down to earth, user friendly way to learn how to bird. And so if you're interested in getting started in birding, that would be a fabulous way to get started. Uh, if you are into fantasy romance, you might be interested in Allie Hazelwood's brand new book. It is a actually technically a paranormal romance, vampires and werewolves um, and humans. Um, I had a chance to read the arc of this one. It's a fun romance book um, and actually really great from her. It's a little bit different than her sort of STEM-based romances that she's known for. So that's a fun one if you enjoy that category. Um, something that just came out in the YA department today is called Infinity Alchemist. This is another one that I read the arc of. It is a uh, queer uh, YA fantasy that um, has lots of representation for, of different groups of people. Um, it has trans characters, it has BIPOC characters. Um, it even addresses the idea of polyamory in a way that I thought was really interesting and sensitive. Um, but it's also just a great story, kind of a, you know, they have to save the world from the, the mad magicians kind of story, um, but lots of really well-drawn characters and um, uh, well-imagined world um, from Case and Alexander. Again, it's Infinity Alchemist from Case and Alexander. 
Um, and another one that came out today for fantasy lovers um, is the next volume of the Amulet series. This is the ninth volume, I believe. Um, yeah, book nine. And for those of you who love this series, um, I know this is sort of a long-awaited brand new addition um, to the series. So we've got these available in the store if you're interested. Uh, we also have the, the rest of the series too, if it's something that you've been interested in but you need to get started. So that's some ideas for you for the, some new books that came out this week. Um, other things that we're super excited about the store, we had a really great event with uh, Cozy Mystery authors L.A. Alexander and Paula Charles on Saturday. Um, if you missed that, we do have signed copies of their books in the store, or you can order them online if you're watching this and you're not in the Vancouver area. Uh, just a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to keep doing the in-person stuff. We're going to try for at least once a month. So if you would like to see authors in person, we're kicking that back off again. Um, so be watching for that. It will be on our website under the events page. Um, and there's just a bunch of tabs at the top of the page and one of them is events. So you can find out what's happening there. Um, we have some favorite local authors that have books coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, the first one is Anita Kelly's How You Get the Girl. Uh, we are one week away from this release, and I'm super excited. Uh, we get to talk to them on Vintage Books Live next Tuesday. Um, this book is up on our pre-order page. Um, other books of theirs, I'm trying, I'm drawing a blank right as I'm sitting here talking. Of course, it all goes out of my head. Um, but if you look up Anita Kelly online, you can find their other books, but they're really great. Um, rom-coms and um, just fun stories but also just very sensitive and well-drawn characters which is a really fun and sort of meaningful com combination to have a little bit of both. Um, Anita will be with us at like I said at Vintage Books Live next Tuesday night at seven o'clock um, so I'm really excited to talk to them and if you pre-order a book before uh, Friday, you can get a signed and personalized copy. There'll be signed copies available after that, but f up until Friday, we're also offering uh, personalized. Um, and that can be something that you order if you are local and you can come in and pick it up. If you're not local, feel free to order still. Um, we will mail them to you. Uh, usually we try to get them out the Monday before release day, so you get them as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, so we're super excited to have Anita and as one of our authors so we're it's fun when our people have new books coming out and speaking of that um two books coming out the following week on the 20th one is la alexander's a smoking bun uh the next in the bake shop mysteries um ellie was one of the authors that was here last friday uh or last saturday sorry um, and we have signed book plates from her. Um, so if you order a book from us or pick up a book from us in the store, uh, we will include a signed book plate with your order. Um, and then another one that uh, is coming out that same day is another local cozy mystery person, uh, Gone with the Witch. This is Angela Emma Sanders. Uh, she will be with me on Vintage Books Live Um I don't think I have her on my schedule yet, but we're working on getting her um, in March. So that'll be fun. She's super fun to talk to. Elia will be talking to on the 20th on her release day. So just be looking out for that. Um, if you are interested in knowing what pre-release offers we have available for books that are coming up, um, if you go to our main page, vintage-books.net, um, there is... Uh, text at the top of the of the main column that talks about upcoming books and if you hit the little button in that little section it will take you to a page that shows all of our pre-release offers. A lot of them are from local authors that we partner with to offer signed and personalized copies, sometimes some fun swag, but we also put um, when we're going to get a signed copy of some kind of you know big name release or something like that. Um, that's not necessarily a local person, but we're going to get something special in the store. So be looking for that. Again, we are happy to ship. So you don't have to be in the Vancouver, Portland area to get to take advantage of those special offers. So be sure to look for that. 
Uh, we are off from Vintage Books Lives tonight, so nothing, nothing, no interview at seven this week, but starting up next week again with Anita. Um, so thank you so much for joining us and happy reading. Have a good night.